Using Castiglianus' theorem, what is the deflection of point B in the direction of the force F for the steel bar shown? This is the second example video for the main video about Castiglianus' theorem, so make sure to check out that one and the first example before watching this. Links below. We know that we can calculate this deflection in the direction of F if we take the partial derivative of the strain energy with respect to F. Since the steel bar has two sections, BA and AO, we'll divide the strain energy into two expressions, one for each. Starting at where we're measuring the deflection, like we always should, we see that B would deflect down and in the positive x-axis due to the bending caused by these two forces. For any point along the z-axis, the moment of x caused by Fy would be equal to z times Fy. The moment of y caused by Fx would be equal to z times Fx. Since the partial derivatives with respect to f will yield a partial of m with respect to f, we can calculate those now. Having everything we need for those two first integrals, we can now move on to section AO. The internal loads at A, which are the reactions to the reactions of section AB, help us identify that the strain energy inside AO comes from an axial load Fx, torsion from a torque T that does not vary along the x-axis, bending from the moment my that doesn't vary along the x-axis either, and bending from a moment mz caused by force Fy. Once again, the partial derivative of the integrals are the integrals of the partial derivatives. The only term we're missing in this line is the partial of Fx with respect to F. Substituting all of the values and carrying out the integrals and knowing the values for F, I, J, A, E, and G, we find that the deflection of B in the direction of F is 0.279 inches. It's worth pointing out that this is not the total deflection at B. This is again the deflection at B in the direction of force F. If we wanted the overall deflection of B, we would do this same process three times, albeit much shorter, with only Fx, then only Fy, and then only a fictitious force Fz equal to zero. That process would yield a deflection in the x, y, and z directions, which would be the components of the total deflection of B. For one more Castiglianus theorem example, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.